So welcome back to the channel, everybody. And right now, it's named Silly Gain Skillmore because it speaks volumes about me. But thank you for being here. And uh, you know that doesn't make any sense. But uh, thank you for being here for another video. The past two videos that I done, which should have been out yesterday and the day before. I release those as a workout instructional video, so if you want a killer back workout or a killer chest workout, check those out. Um, I put a lot of effort into them, I followed a script, um, which I'm not very good at, and went through and added more information about the exercises and uh, put the routine on there. Um, so check them out. Let me know what you think if you haven't seen them yet. If you did see them, let me know down in the comments what you thought. Also, if you haven't subscribed, you should go ahead and subscribe. It would uh, it'd make my little heart happy. So today's just gonna be a little bit different. The past, uh, past couple days, I've realized how wore down my body feels. I haven't done anything incredible, but my body is feeling worn down. So I can definitely feel my shoulders are getting achy. Um, there's been a few videos where I posted them and I'm like, ooh, ooh, they're, they're achy, they're not sore, they're achy. And uh, my hips are really tight, a little bit more than usual. I can feel them click clacking and I feel very limited in my range of motion with my hips when I do certain exercises. Today's a leg day. Um, this is a long explanation, just ask you to follow me through kind of doing the, uh, the beginning portion of everything and some rehab that I'm gonna do today to kind of loosen my shoulders, my back, and my hips up. Um, and then I got a leg day. I don't know if I'll record it. We'll see what happens. How do we fix tight hips and tight shoulders? Well, I'm about to go through it. So, I'm gonna stay here. All right, so I got my handy dandy little pull down bar here that I'm gonna use here in just a second. Um, but, you know, I like stretching the bigger muscles that attach onto the humerus just a little bit. Uh, definitely the pectoral, the lats, they need to be loosened. The teres major, teres minor, uh, along with all the actual shoulder muscles within the shoulder, um, they need to be stretched because they will crank on the arm and you know some pull it into internal rotation, some pull it into external rotation. So I like to take a nice wide approach where I just rework everything, stretch everything out, and then retighten it. Um, today, I'm probably just gonna loosen everything. So with everything, feeling, with everything feeling really sore, um, you know, and achy, I can tell that it's in the joint. Some stuff just isn't recovering the way it needs to before I do everything. And um, I know that I need to go about it where I'm really making sure that my stabilizers stabilizers are active, warm, and my range of motion is good. So since today's a leg day, even though I'm doing a lot of upper body stuff right now, it's just because I know I need to do it. Um, a lot of this is going to be leg focused because my hamstrings and my adductors are so extremely tight. So I need to loosen all of that, especially before I get in there and open my hips up a little bit with a couple you know, pre-game exercise basically. Oh, you know, I would like to know what you guys are wanting to watch. There's a research tab on the YouTube Studio that I can see what you guys are watching and I can make a good judgment call and base my uh, content on that. But I wanna ask you guys directly. You guys can play a role in uh, the content that's made on here. Um, I'm in a nice, position that I'm extremely grateful for to be able to make this content for you guys. So, you know, why not work with you? You know, I'd like to surprise you with some stuff, but in the meantime, while I'm working on some other projects, let me know what you want to see. What topic should I cover? I know that how to get a stronger bench press and how to optimize your squat did really good. Um, so just let me know, uh, let me know what you'd like to see. So other fun update. Hopefully you can hear me and I'm not muffling the mic, but I might be. Um, at this point in time, I've started doing fasted cardio in the mornings. 
and I've added uh, cold showers. I would do ice baths, but I can't right now. I don't have an area or enough ice to be able to do cold baths without spending a whole bunch of money on ice. So right now, I'm pairing those together to help with the cut, kind of prime everything and get everything ready for me to be able to optimize on this cut and get down a little bit quicker laying out so I can hurry up and start this bulk. So if you're interested in seeing uh, the cardio and and learn a little bit of information about cold baths and cold showers and the benefits of doing them, let me know down in the comments. Trying to figure out a good way to kind of fill all the dead space that I record and kind of make it interesting with us putting music over it or captions or just do a voiceover. Um, so if you have any suggestions with that, I'm open to suggestions. So if you can tell by how little I'm going down, my hamstrings are extremely tight. I'll probably just start having to stretch these daily to get my range of motion back because my hamstrings are extremely just overactive. So I'll probably work on uh, doing this multiple times during the week now. Try to get this fixed. This is probably my least favorite stretch because of how difficult it is for me. And you know how when you usually stretch 30 seconds to a minute in, Usually you can feel the muscle relax. But yeah, with my hamstrings, it's like two, three sets of 30 seconds to a minute before I feel a difference. And I mean, stretching like this and leaning down and hinging my hips back and pushing my butt back, I can feel a tight stretch on my hamstrings. So I know I'm stretching them. I can just tell that they're extremely tight. Wow, you're really tall all the way up there. I got my band on. We're gonna work that piriformis just a little bit. So we're gonna do some banded clamshells. So what we're trying to do here is we're trying to re-strengthen and stabilize the piriformis. Uh, we wanna make sure that we do, we do several micro sets and we just make sure that we strengthen it, rebuild it, kinda allow the, the injury to subside and re-strengthen it back up to be more resilient than it was before. So, big thing we're focusing on, doing micro sets, really squeezing the glute that's on the ground. Um, and of course, we're gonna do five, six sets on both sides. Um, just, it's again, it's about balance. So, I apologize, this video is not gonna be very interesting. Now we're gonna work, we're gonna work the other side. This is basically just a side plank, but it's a clamshell because we're opening our legs, externally rotating them and activating the piriformis, the glute, maximus, medius. So it's just really important to be very well balanced and you know, working out isn't all PRs and pumps. And if it is, then you know, someone ends up turning 25, 26 and being completely burned out from the gym being like, yeah, I used to be able to bench 405 till I jacked my shoulder up and then they just gave up on everything. It's just kind of a, a balance of taking care of your body and pushing it to become better. And if you don't do the balancing stuff, and you don't do this small work, injuries start accumulating and a lot of people can just push through them and they can still get stronger with them. The body learns to adapt whether it's injured or not. But the biggest issue there is you, uh, you cut down your longevity by a lot. The next exercise that we do is gonna be a single leg bridge. This is going to really recruit a lot of stabilization from the hip complex to make sure that I don't wanna to tilt too much one way or the other. And of course, also work on endurance and strength. So we're gonna hold this for a few seconds to the other side and repeat multiple times. I can definitely feel a difference in power between my left and right leg when it comes to that because my left side was injured and that's a lot harder to do. <sighs> I'm 
So yeah, we're just gonna sit here and do this for a while. And after this, we get into the main part of the workout. And this is taking forever. Well, that's probably all I'm gonna record today. I'm not gonna record the main part of the workout. I do not have the energy. Nor can I think of anything interesting to say, except for just tips and pointers for when I'm going through the main part of the workout. If you're interested in seeing some of that, let me know down in the comments. Other words, thank you for joining me for another video. And uh, sorry, it wasn't more eventful, I don't know. But thank you for being here. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. Um, and check out the rest of my videos of Road to Pro, um, my little vlog series. And uh, check out those two workout videos that I did that were uh, follow along. So let me know what you thought. I'll see you next time. Stay strong, stay smiling. Till next time.